Weird, isn't it? How I'm ending up playing um, Pikmin, th playing and uploading Pikmin 3. Well before Pikmin 2 is actually finished. Hmm. <laughs> Funny how things work. I mean, they're not super connected. It isn't like Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 1. Where you absolutely have to play Mass Effect 1 in order to play Mass Effect 2. So anyways, welcome to the game that is basically the reason why I got a Wii U in the first place. Pikmin 3, obviously. Um... So, this is gonna be... So, in this case, we're actually gonna be playing the entire thing in one. Are there these missions that I will be doing as it's a separate thing? Collecting treasures, battling enemies, being bosses, as well as getting the, um... my eShop ones eventually, when we get to it. Keyword, when. I don't know. If I keep on um, recording more and more, oh, yeah. Here's the thing, um, I've beaten this game twice now. It's like Pikmin 2. So, um, ignore all that. Galactic Date 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. Earth? The planet looks like Earth. Cool. Never mind. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. More ways than one. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF-404. Hmm. Cool gravity Goodbye. same shot. Last coat rests on three intrepid explorers. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. What is with Earth in just, like, doing that? Like, all three games. Oh, they're in escape pods, otherwise they're dead. Um, but... Hey, Pikmin 3. You guys ready for Pikmin 4? And whatever that DS game is? 3DS game? Exploration Day 1, 8.44 a.m., Charlie's Crash Site. Cool. Ugh. What happened? Hello, y'all, Pikmin. That's unusual. Hmm? So, you might notice some different things than usual. For one, we're not controlling Olimar. Where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Charlie to ship. Charlie to ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? You might notice that looks rather familiar. Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew! Hmm. Captain Charlie. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I gotta find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. So, yeah, I know he talks. But you might also wonder how is this gonna control compared to the other two games? 
Huh? What in the... There are more of them? So strange. Mega mushrooms. That's a lot of Pikmin. I seem to wander into a strange neighborhood. Oh. Why are they coming closer? My whistle will scare them off. No, it didn't. I'm surrounded. Maybe I should throw them. Get away from me. Why don't these guys stop hovering around me? Oof. Poor mushrooms, they did nothing wrong. They don't appear hostile. So let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing ZR and throwing them with A. Finally, I can dismiss the whole group with B. Many of these fellows can be of some use. So, just so, so basically, the biggest thing about Pikmin 2... Not uh, Pikmin 2, yeah. Pik I guess I can't control the camera yet. Pikmin um, 3 and Pikmin... Well, really, Pikmin 2 um, and new and... Um, the new play control Pikmin 2 and Pikmin um, 1. I don't, think, I don't think it's called new play control Pikmin 2. It's just called Pikmin 2. There we go. Yeah, that's how it's done. So basically, yeah, we have the GameCube controls. Back. I mean, to be fair, you can record with the Wii. Oh, no, with the Wii. I'm just saying. I think there's a whole problem with the Wii U, apparently. If self says everyone thought it was a Wii. Should look around for my crew. Okay. Yeah, well, let me see what's in front of me. Mega Mushrooms. Mario, where are you? I mean, I know we just had, we're done with you in 3D land. But still. So I hope everything looks okay, because originally, and when I booted this up, um, my, like, white kept on having, like, yellow lines in it, and then when it went to, like, you know, power saving mode, yeah, there are blue lines everywhere, so I'm worried I we use broken. Oh, these guys sure are dedicated. Although, actually, um, I think uh, I did fix after I plugged in my um, TV cord more. So I guess when I moved it a little bit, I must have... Oh, what are those? They look dangerous. Kill them. Okay, they suffer the same incident. Oh, that's bright. Oh, dear. This thing cloaked? So I like how the whistles are actually, um... Part of their helmet now. I don't think they were originally. Session day 1, 8.46 a.m. Alf's crash site. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay, that's just a thing. It's a third ship we've crashed on this planet, basically. I know I know Angel didn't actually crash, but he almost crashed. That first intro thing. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Elf. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. The ship's engineer, it's up to me, Elf, to find both SS Drake and my crew members. So, by the way, yeah, you can go underwater. I mean, the other ones you can't, the other games you can, but I don't think it was actually... Hi, Red Pikmin. Is this the actual beginning? What was that? And we're locked. 
Make a new you can't go. Spot. Come on, I can't go back that way. Well then. Oh, we found three. And what's that up there? I've never seen something like that before. Here's that specimen I just spotted his company. Are they just growing onions from plants now? What's that stuck in that branch? How the hell did an onion get stuck? So yes, by the way, that is our new version of an onion. Anything I can do? Their spine is the whistle. The friendly little guys. And I plucked an onion. Nice! It literally looks like a cherry tomato. Now it looks like an apple. Yeah. I mean, it was a fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Unless the red fellow seemed quite pleased now that's freed. So why does it look more like mechanical than it did before? Hey, they're following me. So, new mechanic in this game. You can pick up things and then... What are they doing? Build bridges out of terracotta. What's terracotta? I don't know. Cool stars. Nope. What do you mean? I'm missing one somewhere. It says there are four on the field. Oh! This is a pile of rubble. So sadly, there is no C button function, although they have something that's similar to that. Need some more helpers. If you hold down A, does that do that? No, that froze, right? I don't... I like how I've instantly forgotten the controls. <clears throat> so I wish I had known there was a fourth Pikmin over there. Why was that Pikmin not helping? And... It's just gonna walk by. Back here. Wonderful! The bridge is complete. Oh, my copad? Oh, it is a copad. My copad, thank goodness I found it. I can use it to look at the SS Drake. Oh, well, I want to refund my Wii U game pad. It doesn't have a giant camera on the back. So, by the way, I see exactly the same thing on my uh, thi- Wow. Great. Still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from Kopai Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by tapping and sliding the Kopad screen. Where's the Drake? Okay, it's almost like I know where it is. Ah, the SS Drake isn't that far from here. So yes, I'm holding up my gamepad right to the mic. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. Best test in that direction. Mm. Is that red thing? Food? Yeah, hello, Posey. Ah! It's just a female shear grub. Yeah, they're all just female shear grubs. Not to be sexist or anything like that, they just aren't able to attack us. I don't think. Okay. Because I was like... I just get attacked? Yep. Cutscene. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. I wonder if there will be more Pikmin in said sprouts. Do you actually have to hold A or not? Red Pikmin, if you couldn't tell already. Because he had four. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. No, you don't. No, I don't think there's a replacement for the C. 
There is some... Well, okay. There is a replacement for the seed, and there isn't a replacement for the seed. There's a combat replacement for the seed, but... Well, I actually know. There's a normal replacement as well. Never mind. Ignore what I'm saying. Wow, this one's huge. B charge. That's that's basically a replacement for um, C stick. Is instead, um, you can just hit B and then they'll all charge towards it. Now that does mean like you can't like avoid a water. To be fair, we haven't fought the water wraith. Never mind. But any sort of um thing that you know. You would want to move your Pikmin around to dodge, you can no longer do such a functionality. Huh. Flashbacks of Pikmin 1. That was so long ago. It was two years ago, actually, was it? No, actually, I think it was almost two years ago, I think. Although, to be fair, I was recording Pikmin 1 in my first semester of college, so I guess not. It was only a year ago. So you can pick them really quickly. I think you can pick them even earlier than you couldn't pick them too. Is there anything underneath there? No. How's this thing staying up, actually? What is this enormous thing? It's a cardboard box. Drake must be on the other side of this thing. Poor little Pikmin. I'd call you... St Okay. What's that? Data file? Looks like someone's left a data file here that can just exist in existence. Perhaps a copad will be able to read it. They're coming towards me. Pikminology number one. The onion's like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent. The copad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin. Information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the Killpad's exploration notes. <laughs> what a sucky way to do this, eh? I'm not gonna pay $400 to get a game Wii U gamepad that I can actually record. Until the only- see, here's the thing that really I'm really conflicted on, is Nintendo Land. Because that's the only game I can think of where haven't where you really should have a capture carded um, Wii U gamepad, but the problem is it costs so much money. Um, just for one game. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life? Well, fuck the Pikmin too, I guess. Are there intelligent life forms on this planet? Anyways. According to the radar, the Drake should be through here. We're gonna get hit by, uh... Wow, those are massive. They don't look edible. So we got a dirt wall. Who built this wall here? More sense of intelligent life? So you do actually want to spread your Pikmin out, because I think they do more area damage, which does more damage to the whole thing overall. A replacement. My crew could learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. I hope the Drake's okay. Anyways, this is um um. What am I saying? I totally lost it. There it is. That's this Drake. The Copan isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness you're with SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm stuck. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. It's a strange sound. 
I don't know. Not cold warm. Fascinating, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. In we go, I guess. And off we went to adventure. You might notice something a bit different about the crop circle, though. I'm not sure how I, I mean, I actually like this onion's design. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Copa were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. So then tomorrow I'll have to find some local food. Copa fruit. So, here's the sad thing. I actually... So, I can actually view the replay on my, um, gamepad. But alas, I cannot show you it. You can just see it going by. Okay, for a split second, I was like, wait a second, we only have nine red Pikmin? Why is that? Does it let me... It keeps on going, actually. Oh, God. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we will set out to find her tomorrow. Took off on the ship, and the onion took off flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Yeah, there's no way to show you the replay. Unless I want to go switch modes, because you can actually, I'm pretty sure you can actually. Yes, please. See a save data. Exploration day two. You're going to force my. No, you're not. I think you get to choose. Actually, yeah, because we have to move to places. Hi, Australia. So you might notice this game makes no sense. Garden of Hope. Where's my Forest of Hope? But yeah, you might notice it makes no sense because right now, um, Australia has been collided into um, Antarctica. I mean, the continents somehow move between Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 3. I've tracked down Brittany's signal right now to finding her as my highest priority. I'm um, also very concerned about their cosmic drive keys now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very, very bad. Yeah, so yeah, if you make a mistake, um, you can go back in to the previous day. Anyways, we'll check in next episode, so if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!